What's up guys welcome back to Street Sense and this is the 15th episode of our podcast The Gap Fest. Now this really breaks my heart to tell you all guys but this is going to be the final episode of this season if we may say. So yeah for this specific season this is going to be the final episode uh of Gap Fest. Now I know that I promise you guys uh that this is going to go till the end of this entire lockdown and as of now we've been consistent enough for you know the entire 15 days each and every single day we've been delivering you guys with these podcasts but uh, we personally feel that there has been a lot that has been happening at street sense and we are uh, delivering a lot of content uh, for all you guys through our e magazine through our social media through our podcast as well and uh, we personally believe that uh, it gets way too much for our audience also to absorb so much uh whatever we are sharing with all you guys and eventually what happens is this uh diverts the audience from here to there so running multiple campaigns the agenda is always you know a specific thing to reach out to you guys and the entire process is very heavy guys so we personally don't really want you guys to distract yourself from a specific campaign and move on to another and uh get lost in between so that's not something that we want as of now something that's super heavy of course that's uh, running besides this podcast are the lockdown lives so that's something that's a concept that we've started over our instagram where we are uh, bringing in a lot of crazy crazy guests to be a part of our uh, live feed live sessions and uh, have a conversation with them talk to them uh understand their stories understand their ideologies and make it more sort of an uh, an interactive feed wherein our audience also can ask the questions and it's going to be a completely organic sort of a thing that's running around so we've successfully like conducted five uh, episodes of that as well and the sixth one happens to be tomorrow for which the uh, our guest is another crazy personality so make sure you guys head over to our instagram and check that out so yeah personally what we feel is there has been a lot that has been happening and we wanted each and every one to you know to stay focused on a specific set of campaigns and we personally believe that 15 podcast in itself is like a great achievement for us i personally was not really sure guys whether i'd be able to pull this whole thing off for like consecutive days like the people who develop content who make content and not just like write ups and audio bit but the visual can, uh, content as well they understand how difficult it is to like do it consecutively on each and every single day but you know the sort of love that you guys have shown towards our content and towards the sort of videos that have been make, that we have been making has something that has been like a crazy motivation for me and the entire team of street sense So yeah thanks Tan for uh, giving us this sort of push that we were able to pull this whole thing off for like 15 consecutive days so yes this is going to be the end of our podcast after this video but not to forget the youtube channel is not dying uh, season 2 is going to come super soon when it's going to come we'll share that out but there are going to be you know some other crazy sort of videos that we going to drop down for you guys so make sure you stay tuned with us so yes that's that Now let's quickly talk about the final drip of the day guys. Yes, this is going to be the final drip of the day segment, right? Uh I actually personally got to know that a few of you guys like actually enjoy this uh, whole uh, segment of talking about what is it that I'm wearing and the thought process. So thank you so very much guys and I hope this is something that could add a little bit of value in our lives. So yeah, cutting that whole BS out, let's quickly talk about this. So the pants that I'm wearing are basically joggers from I think either H&M or Zara. Uh you know nothing super special about these but super comfortable. This is not really a denim stuff but it's more on the cotton line so it's uh, way more comfortable. Uh the t-shirts actually from Cos from Uniqlo, right? And this whole flannel I I'm not really sure no. This is not really a flannel. This is a jacket and this I think is from H&M. and this has like a big ass orange colored print uh, at the back side like something similar to this one at the pocket right so yeah this is what looks like the final drip of the day guys yes why is it that i'm wearing this um, there's a specific reason towards it guys 
so a lot of people actually dm us and they ask us specifically about this one thing that aditya bhalla carries okay so shout out to that man he's like a crazy sneaker head guys if you guys haven't checked that uh, guy out make sure you head over to aditya bhalla's instagram profile and check him out he's like a crazy guy so yeah something that he does is like he carries um, you know basic i won't really say basic but yeah like supreme or assc t-shirts with like a very specific black colored denim jacket you know that's something that he used to do uh, you know before this whole lockdown was a thing so that's something that he used to do and a few of people a uh, few of the people were like hesitant enough to like actually dm him so the dm does on our uh, street sons profile and they actually asked us like what's the brand of jacket that he, that personality is actually wearing and uh, obviously like just by the naked eye of course i also don't really know as to what is it that he's actually wearing but it's more on the aesthetic side that uh, people run for and aesthetically that looks amazing like having a basic t-shirt and carrying like uh, a jacket over it specifically a black denim which is like a universal sort of a colorway and a universal sort of a silhouette that is something that looks beautiful on each and every one of us and every one of us like actually carry that sort of a look so yeah it's more on the aesthetic side guys so again this is not that i actually thought of wearing a denim jacket but you know it's super hot over here it doesn't make sense the the denim jacket's right over here if you guys want to see it's right over here this is something that i thought of wearing for the day and this denim is actually from uh, from flying machine right i'm sure what aditya bhalla must be wearing would be you know something like a hyped up brand or something like a luxury wear right but uh, it's again it's about the aesthetics guys so don't run after um something like you know a gucci jacket or an lv jacket or anything of that sort figure out how you guys can actually carry you know that specific aesthetics with whatever uh, sort of apparels and clothing pieces you have in your closet so if not a denim jacket you guys can carry like a basic blue sort of a or a black sort of a flannel shirt or just a basic shirt and just wear it like over your t-shirt and that does the deal guys to be very honest right so that's something that we should actually move forward with and yes that's pretty much it guys this that's like the drip of the day and now let's quickly move forward towards the main topic so i was actually going through a lot of video ideas and the topics that we could have used for our final episode uh, but then what struck my head was that our final episode does not necessarily needs to be like a banger or like something that's super fancy but something which is like really important to talk about or something that has an importance of its own so that's when we came up to this conclusion of making our final episode and dedicate it towards all the women sneaker heads and all these females who are taking our culture forward guys these are the women who have been taking our culture forward but are not really talked about and are not really a part of the you know the mainstream scene of this whole culture like people know about them but still they are not really out there right and they are not really woke so that's something that we thought of doing it so yeah let's quickly move forward with that so the first woman that we actually going to talk about is none other than navika nandal so if you guys don't know about her she is the sister of uh, one of india's biggest sneaker heads uh, sahil nandal who himself has about 400 to about 500 personal pairs right so yeah let's move forward from uh, sahil but talk about navika navika herself is actually i think the design lead for bhane and vejnon which both the brands so bhane again if you guys uh, know it's anand's brand anand ahuja's brand and that revolves around you know different sorts of clothing pieces it revolves around the street culture as well it revolves around the corporate culture as well and it's like multi dimensional space right but uh, aesthetically it's one of the best uh brands out there and the stuff also that they use and the pro- the quality of their products is also super premium guys right you guys have seen me rock bane a few times like during this podcast only so yeah 
she works for bhane and veg non veg as well as the design lead so veg non veg also if you guys don't know has like a uh clothing range if we can say it's not really merch merch but it's like a proper clothing range that they drop like with seasons as well so navika is someone who leads the entire design process so as a personality navika is someone who's really um you know because of her experiences and because of her education also in the same design field the design domain you know she is very intellectual and woke about the culture and the sort of intellect she actually has on the lines of talking about the culture and talking about street wear and talking about uh, the whole designing process it's on another level itself of course that comes with experience but uh, the ideologies also that she has and the way she carries herself is beautiful guys like i would really appreciate all you guys to like not just navika but check out each and every profile of whosoever we are actually talking about in this video because these women are killing it and navika her aesthetic game is like on another level at times you might feel that she is being very casual about it but you know her being super comfortable in whatever she is wearing makes it even more beautiful for us to you know i won't use the word check her out no but like for all of us to see her and her see her how beautifully she can actually carry herself even with say completely completely basic pieces that's that next up we're going to talk about radhika prasad so by profession she is actually a lawyer and again she is very low key with her whole a uh, thing of being a sneaker head so she is actually someone who has been featured in a lot of articles for being like one of the very few uh, you know women sneaker heads in india and not because of anything else but again because of the sort of intellect she actually has for sneakers and because of the sort of love she has for sneakers so she is again someone like a lot of other women sneaker heads of india who's not really uh woke about it and not really out there with her social media that she is actually a sneaker head like her social media is pretty casual and it's like a personal blog to her wherein she is posting anything and everything unlike a lot of you know the male male sneaker heads who dedicate their entire profile towards say just sneakers and streetwear only right so just in the way how other women also work around their profiles she is also like that only but yes through her stories through her posts here and there like in between you guys can always always see how crazy of a sneaker head she actually is and uh, how much she actually loves sneakers as a whole and maybe she does not have a lot of pairs but she is very uh, you know knowledgeable and she's someone who keeps herself updated with whatsoever is happening in the sneaker world she's very you know if we may say uh, knowledge wise she is out there like at the top of the game but you know maybe because of her collection she is not as big but again guys uh, being a sneaker head does not really mean that you got to own say hundreds of pairs of sneakers it's more about how big of a you know if i may quote it like in very simple words how big of an encyclopedia you are by your own self about sneakers like constantly reading about that constantly learning about that and uh, knowing about all these updates and even the smallest and basic things that revolve around sneakers that's what basically makes you more of a sneaker head and not just your collection your collection makes you like a like more sort of like a sneaker collector but not really a sneaker head guys it's all in here the third one again is like one of the pioneers um you know in this whole indian streetwear game which is bhavisha so bhavisha is someone who started this brand by the name of capsule wherein uh, she got a lot of international brands under an indian label and 
those products are actually now because of capsule are selling in India like near the retail value near the international retail value of course like for India it's like the standard retail value because of capsule but uh, you know if we compare the prices from like the global prices of course uh, those are like slightly more pricier but they are very very near to the retail deal so if say for example just hypothetically picking up a number if a product internationally costs about uh, $60 in India that would not exceed say 70 you know from capsule and some of the brands that uh, capsule has managed to get to India are like uh, you know Stussy the hundreds and like many more like really there's like an entire catalog that they have uh, of these international brands that we can easily get hold of in India for retail like literally at retail and yes besides having all these uh, international brands as well they are constantly collaborating with a lot of Indian labels and Indian individuals for that matter and uh, the way also that they collaborate is super unique so the recent collaboration that I know of and that I you know that's like on the top of my head is something that they did with Sahil Marwa and it was like a smoothie drop so uh, it's it was like a t-shirt which had like an entire concept that revolved around smoothies because Sahil Marwa was also coming up with like a smoothie uh, brand and a label of his own and yes it brought like two cultures together not just like streetwear and the skate culture but also you know the foodies the people who love the healthier side of things and yes you know the whole concept was very uh, you know inclusive of you know the multi-dimensional spaces it was very inclusive I'm sure that I also have that t-shirt but that should probably still be packed because that's not a part of my closet as of now. Talking about the fourth woman now, who's like really woke about it and has like dedicated her, not just like uh, her social media, but her entire world towards this whole culture and is working also in the same domain is none other than Shivani guys. So if you guys don't know, Shivani actually works with Veg Non Veg and I think she's amongst the content leads uh, with Veg Non Veg. I'm not really sure. Sorry, Shivani, if I'm like wrong with that information. But, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I think that you work in the content team. So, yes, Shivani is someone who has been dedicatedly doing stuff to take the culture forward and has been like very woke about, uh, you know, bringing the women also in the limelight uh, in this whole culture. Because, of course, you know we can still see that it's more sort of like a male dominant culture still and not a lot of women are a part of it and even if they are but they are very low-key with their whole uh, you know sneaker and streetwear game for obviously like that's their personal choice of how they want to be uh, they want to actually come in front of social media and talk about their whole game that's like their personal choice but yes Shivani being on the other hand she's very woke about it and she's constantly collaborating with a lot of brands like I think Minimal, uh, Minimal LA I, I believe is the brand that she's constantly collaborating with and yes yeah, she works with Veg Non Veg wherein uh, she develops some massive content and she knows exactly because she's working with uh, in that domain she knows exactly how to target the right set of people and uh, you know take our culture forward the right way possible and not just you know force uh, the brand and shove the brand on the faces of people but talk about culture but talk about sneakers so Shivani again the fourth one and she's very woke she's very vibrant and uh, she's someone who is uh, you know through her social media influencing a lot of people and not just women but a lot of uh, males also follow her because of the uh, type of aesthetics she has and the way she carries herself the way she styles herself is like really really amazing she you know she is someone uh, who's uh, you know not very loud with her aesthetics but whatever she carries 
she carries with a lot of style there's uh, an elegance but at the same uh, the, at the same time she is very raw with it so i don't know how she is able to uh, do that but it's really uh, it comes across very very beautiful and very influence uh, very influential because that's not something that we have seen a lot uh, happening in our culture right so shivani uh, being the fourth one now the final one is none other than veda so veda is someone who runs this brand called uh, yellow cab media and uh, because of her brand which revolves around uh, social media yes and she does a lot of work for a lot of clients and a lot of individuals also on the social media platforms so uh, because of her brand she has been working a lot for our culture in different ways by hosting different events and collaborating with uh, different labels and different individuals like the studio project so with the studio project she actually hosted and organized an event which was all about the customization of sneakers and wherein they were teaching also they were selling also and they were you know having conversations also so it was like more sort of a very inclusive uh thing wherein everyone could take a part in that whole event and it was really really amazing so all in all again veda is also someone who has like a crazy crazy collection of sneakers guys and yes if you guys aren't following us over our instagram then you guys have already missed out on an amazing opportunity of having a conversation with her because we had like a proper she was basically our third guest for our lockdown lives wherein we had an amazing conversation about her closet about her ideologies and yes about her family too because if you guys again don't know she is kind of related to the kapoor's family like harshwal kapoor riya kapoor and uh, sonam kapoor and all these people right but as a personality herself she is out there and she's taking the culture forward in the best way possible because she's collaborating with the right people she's connected with the right people also the fact that she actually happens to be the girlfriend of India's one of the biggest high beast and the sneaker heads who's Shashwat Singhania again shout out to this man and he got Air Max to India guys yeah so yes uh yeah during the live session also uh, she was pretty vocal about how Shashwat has been influencing her and has been teaching her and has been like constantly telling her exactly what to do and how to revolve around this culture so yeah man it's really beautiful as to you know each and every one is very open to learning and talking about culture and knowing more about things that revolve around this culture so yes guys these are the five women that we personally consider are you know india's top 5 not just hype base i would say but really the pioneers amongst the women specifically uh, to be taking our culture forward guys navika shivani bhavisha veda and uh, radhika yeah so these five women are like taking our culture forward in their own ways possible like navika is doing her own bits and she is not just having a conversation but exactly the way she wants our culture to brew around she is designing all of that so she has all those resources veda is building up concepts around social media and collaborating with the right people bhavisha is doing her own bit with capsule and bringing all these international brands to india to make them more accessible for us radhika is doing her own thing being a super low key personality uh and yes of course doesn't deny the fact that she is a lawyer and by because of her profession she's got to be super poised about it but sneakers and streetwear is all about being super raw so you know that's how that's what basically defines us that it's not just uh, you know people don't really necessarily need to live our world all the time and 24 hours they can have like these multiple personalities wherein at one point in time they are super poised and like all dressed up and decked up and right after their official hours get done with they can be completely draw and they can be completely anything and everything that they actually want to be right so that's personally something that i basically feel makes it more beautiful and the fifth one of course being shivani who is out there 
completely woke about it and uh, you know influencing a lot of people including me guys right so five personalities five women taking the culture forward in their own ways possible and completely different personalities as a whole so yeah i think we should all acknowledge them and we should talk more about them not to deny like besides these five people of course there are a lot of other sneaker heads also women sneaker heads also who are doing and trying to do their own thing in this whole uh, culture right so yes just to name a few i would say uh, you know there's minakshi uh, she is again the co-founder of capsule along with uh, bhavisha right she has a crazy uh, uh, closet not just for streetwear but uh, of sneakers as well and not just minakshi but there are uh, other women also who are a part of the capsule team in their marketing domain and other domains as well who are like crazy sneaker heads and have been uh, you know lucky enough to get featured in a lot of e magazines and magazines as a whole next up i would say uh, there's avni avni aneja who's uh, another co-founder of uh, 656 again 656 being one of the craziest streetwear brands that india actually has and she happens to be the co-founder of that brand along with her husband and yes she is also like one of the craziest hype base that we can basically see in our culture and yes amongst the celebrity culture there's no one i personally believe no one as big as you know amongst the women uh riya kapoor like of course through her instagram also it's not really out there that whether she is as big of a sneaker head or not but uh because of the conversation that revolves around our culture and because we got to know this specific thing from veda also which of course you guys missed out on right uh that she is a crazy sneaker head and she has been influencing a lot of people that are around her and this happens to be that she is again someone who loves to be super comfortable in whatever she wears and there's nothing more comfortable than sneakers of course we can't deny that guys So yes that's that for the main topic guys and yes why i'm saying that's done for the main topic because i want to talk about something else also which is super important i personally believe so guys there's something uh not very usual that we all are going through at this are basically and we won't really talk about the pandemic as a whole but i would actually like to talk about this whole lockdown situation guys right so uh, please stay with me for like another 2 minutes only i won't take a lot of time but this is something super important that i want to talk to all you guys right so uh, this whole lo- with in this whole lockdown situation of course the cash flows are zero and the entire the whole uh, economic game for each and every one of us even at the micro level have gone to literally literally zero guys but most of the people who are watching this video i you know i would like to believe so are like fortunate enough that uh, you know the basic necessities for each and every one of us is something that we can fulfill and we can sustain ourselves like just the way we have been able to sustain ourselves since like past 20 25 days already we can still sustain ourselves for some more time for that matter but guys there are a lot of people uh because of the fact that their incomes have gone to literally zero they are not able to sustain themselves and their families and not for anything super big but for the basic necessities like food sanitation hygiene and stuff like that guys and that's something that we would like to contribute towards so what we going to do is we are starting a donation drive already from today itself and in that whole donation drive what's going to happen is whatever profits we are able to churn out of our entire sales be it through our personal products which is this of course we're going to talk about it uh right so be it through our personal product or be it through uh, the products of our collaborators right which is fab shield helios and untitled clothing guys so whatever profits we are able to churn out of uh, these whole models uh, the entire profit is going to go towards the charity and towards the people who actually need it 
uh, be it in the form of money and uh, not really uh, in the form of literal money but in the form of food in the form of sanitizers in the form of face masks and stuff like that guys so guys this is actually the right time for all of us as a community that we should come together and uh, do our own small little bits and uh, work towards like a more healthier and a happier uh, future i would say because as of now this whole thing genuinely if we talk on a practical level and on a more realistic level it seems very dark but uh, the best thing whatever we can actually do towards our society towards our country and towards our world as a whole i would say we should try and do our personal bits guys besides of course sitting back to our own places and isolating ourselves uh, right guys so in your own personal ways this is the best possible thing that we could actually come up with so that's that uh, i won't take a lot of time of you guys now after this i would just quickly brief you about what is this whole thing these are basically sneaker storages that that's like our personal product and the entire pr uh, production is also happening through by us only so this is something that's not going like out of stock anytime soon right so these are basically uh, sole chest and these are like front open lids and these are all stackables and unlike other you know crates that we see at different places and you guys know where you can cop all those these are like uh, unlike those these are very rigid these are very strong and these are all fixed right so you don't really have to fix them up and detach them and take them away like that you know these come in like proper bulky boxes and you just got to take it out and fix it up at the place that's the best thing what you can do and yes because it's super rigid and super firm the life of this specific product is way longer than any other sneaker storage or a crate uh, if i may say it's way better than that guys right and again as i just said the best part is whatever profit again whatever we gonna actually churn out of from this and from the other sources as well the entire thing is gonna go towards charity only so you know try to contribute in your own ways and even if you guys don't want to buy it from us and don't like it uh, you know i would just appreciate all you guys to uh, contribute towards our society in whatever small little ways possible by your own self which is completely your uh, your own call do it your own ways and help us spread this word guys like of course don't share this entire video for uh, sharing this whole donation drive but we've got like proper posts made over our instagram so head over to our instagram check uh, all those posts out and share those posts and spread the word as much as possible because this can genuinely change the life of a lot of people uh, before this we happened to donate 2000 face masks to a specific hospital which we uh, will of course not name because that was like a part of our clause but uh, we donated 2000 face mask uh, when at the time when we actually did hit 2000 uh, 2000 followers over our instagram and this is another thing that we are trying to do and this is like our own ways and a small little contribution towards our society right guys so yes that's pretty much about it guys and that's all about our final episode of this podcast season guys Thank you so very much for tuning in. Thank you so very much for appreciating whatever we've been trying to do, guys. And all your support is appreciated and loved. And this is literally a blessing for us to be able to have a voice and to share our thought process and ideologies to so many people. And the best part is that you guys have been so accepting of whatever we actually had to say and share about this culture and share about our ideologies. You guys have been very accepting. Thank you so very much. It's a blessing. And, uh, you know, spread the word, guys. Spread the word for this donation drive. And make sure you guys follow all these five women who are doing some amazing work for our culture, guys. Right? So, thank you. Uh, stay tuned for more amazing, amazing content coming up real soon. Follow us over our Instagram handle. Uh, subscribe and follow us over our website as well. And not to forget, if you guys enjoyed, what you guys saw today make sure you hit that like button guys and please guys please don't make me repeat this thing 60% of you guys have not really subscribed you guys are watching our videos
but you haven't really subscribed please guys this makes no sense just hit that subscribe button and yes uh, stay tuned for more content as i just said why the fuck am i repeating again i don't know i'm probably just excited or just probably sad because this is going to be the end of it <sighs> yeah so stay away from the viruses keep yourself isolated spread the word about our donation drive and and good night